Um, yeah, this is the BBC. Thanks for listening. Stay with us for this Morrissey interview because it's brilliant. Take care. Ta-ta. Love you. Bye. <laughs> People have a tendency to bleach out idiosyncrasy. Yes. I wonder yes. why this is Morrissey. It's because they, they, they don't know what makes them so interesting and special they actually don't know other people do but they don't know they have to be told do you think that's true about yourself no just everybody else <laughs> just, just everybody else not me no. don't you think there's things aren't there things about your character that you, that you lament that, that other people might see as defining well i wish i was much taller really <laughs> You're so gullible. Uh, yeah, I am. I, this, this, this is a difficult position for me because I'm like not many people, no one, in fact, else that I would be that I would have a tendency to fawn over. Were Peter Cook alive, I would be vulnerable to that. But, yeah. as, but aside from that, there's there's no one, and it's the. Well, you, you mentioned your heroes um, on the show. Yeah, and I that, was quite surprised. Well, Chris Morris, Vic Reeves, and Jonathan Ross, I just mentioned for the joke because it's because yes. it was funny that because that was true. I did send him. But but he's very clever. He is a very, he is clever very, man. very clever, I think. He's a, a brilliant broadcaster. How, I noticed, like, I watched you when you were on Jonathan Ross's program, and I always feel that that is not an ideal environment for you. You don't seem particularly. Happy. Not really, because um, when you do television like that, um, you, as soon as you walk onto the set, you have to spring a bit, and you have to walk a bit taller, and you have to sort of bounce a little bit. And uh, I, I'm not very good at that. Why is this? Why is this? It's because I'm uh, incurably, um, not natural, that's not the word, but the word is, um, Jennifer, what's the word? Oh, Jennifer. You can't just expect Jennifer to have well, I do. access I mean, to she's, your she's, vocabulary. She's, she's wearing a white coat, she should know. Um, Jennifer, that white coat denotes absolutely <laughs> nothing. It's as if you've no professionalism. Modesty was groping for a word, and you offered naught. See, Jennifer, the woman in white. I think it's because I'm just a um, um, very, very, very natural person. First, okay, but the first time I saw you perform, I was struck. Uh, I don't perform. Oh, ah. Seals perform, unfortunately. Seals, well, what is it then? Now, what is the verb that we use to describe um, what you do as a job? Appear live. Well, first time I see you appear live, <laughs> I was struck by. I thought that you had. I was, because, like, because my. Because I'm, I'm normally a corpse, of course. No, but you, no, I thought that. <laughs> what I thought was that you'd be more slight and, like, sort of like, fey. Yes. You were, whereas you are quite sturdy and heroic. Um, well, yes, I mean, this is something I've been trying to tell the world for years and years because often people uh, mimic me. And it's this character that um, died many years ago, this very fey sort of um, um, person who was almost dead in the bath. <laughs> Why do you think people cling to that caricature? And are because it was the it? first way that they were introduced to me, I think. And it just locks into people's brains. And people think that you can't, you're incapable of change. Does that feel restrictive? Yes, it really annoys me. It really annoys me. Because although I have a very poetic instinct, I'm not, um, I'm not permanently lying on the floor covered in, uh, what's the word, Jennifer? Stop to put making <laughs> Jennifer do your interview. <laughs> Jennifer is here. There is a lady called Jennifer here who it now seems has a job as to cater to Morrissey's innermost yes, thoughts. But she hasn't so far. Jennifer, frankly, you've been awful <laughs> in this interview. Morrissey, you've been an, a joy. <laughs> you, Thank Jennifer, you. should be shot like a dog. <laughs> But as for you, of course, yes. uh, <clears throat> I mean, you're taking the whole thing further and f farther, not, what? not as in paternal. No, no. No, but you realise that, don't you? What thing? What thing am this I taking further? This whole about? strange comedy thing and television thing and comedy th peculiarity and idiosyncratic insanity. Um, I mean, it's this far and now you're taking it that far. Really? Which is very, very good. I mean, you should be very pleased with yourself. Thank you very much. Are you? Yes, I am, actually. What I, one thing I learned from you was, uh, that you oughtn't, like, if you admire somebody, you should, what you should, like, with you, I thought, what more, like, that I read somewhere about you, so this isn't an original thought, that you are a new archetype, whereas Eminem is another version of Elvis, and, you know, Oasis are really uh, derived from the Beatles or the Rolling Stones, or however you would want to regard it, that you're a new archetype. And what that made me think is, you must be truthful to yourself and celebrate what you are, and then the mundane can become heroic. The seemingly weak can become heroic. 
What do you reckon about that for a bit of an analysis? I think you probably sat up all night rehearsing that speech. I thought I never. I just said that straight yeah. out of my brain. Yeah, well, that's very impressive. I didn't, Morrissey. I just said it. I've not had the opportunity to rehearse this. There's no point in rehearsing an interview with you. You could just wander off at any moment. There's no point in assuming you'll do it. So you're not related to Joe Brand? I'm not related to Joe Brand. You're not an identical twin. I'm, how dare you? I'm sat here as dashing as I could possibly be. <laughs> as seductive as I could be seated. <laughs> no, Joe Brand is a lovely woman. She she is fantastic. Very, very clever. No, no, I'm, I'm not. Comedy and cookery I usually try and avoid. Yes. Watching. Uh, <laughs> but she is very, very good. Who, uh, who else? Who do you admire you, currently, musically, and uh, nobody. across culture? No one. Nobody. Nobody. Good. No, 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 no. What was no, it? No. Ended at Sandy Shaw and New York Dolls. Um, Oh, yeah. Christine Young, a singer that you don't know. Okay. But you'll play this tonight. We'll play it tonight on the radio you, too, you, show. Yes, you'll play it on your show and you'll, you'll, your life will change. Okay, thank yeah. you. So she is- Why? What's so good about her? Incredible voice, completely original, mm. and, uh, an absolute artist. Great songs. I mean, these things don't really happen anymore in music. They just don't. Really? What great songs, incredible artists? That's not a pre prevalent in music today. No. Why? What's going on? Oh well, don't ask me. Why not? I, it's just a statement of fact. I need to ask you. I'm simply observing. Yeah. I don't know why this is the case, but uh, um, <coughs> songs. Yeah. Singers. Okay. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> 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 you described uh, Morrissey as an artist. What are the different things that define an artist? Somebody who is uh, on a course and uh, they're unstoppable and uh, they live or die by what they do and uh, they can't be moulded and they can't be controlled and they can't be directed and uh, which is you'll be very surprised to hear this is how you are. Thank you. <laughs> uh, that is what an extraordinary compliment. That's very kind of you. Well, I always another thing. These are some things that I've always thought about. This is one thing I love. And uh, so, when asked the question, I can't remember by what magazine. What is the best bit of advice you've ever been given? You responded, "Watch what you're doing with them effing flowers backstage at Top of the Pops <laughs> from Paul Weller." Yeah, I like that joke. Well, uh, uh, it was a joke. Yeah, I assumed yes. as much. This is it what is difficult <laughs> with you, uh, because uh, like of all the cliche of you as as uh, some perpetual miserableist. Mm -hmm. And no one, I think, who understands you has ever, or understands your work, has ever bought into, because it seems to me you're dead funny all the time. Uh, well, I think so. Yeah. I wake up, I look in the mirror, and I just laugh hysterically. You giggle so your way I through can't the day. I stop giggling all day. Well, I think most people are very, very drab. And yeah. I think most people in music are really drab. And most songs are drab, and nobody has any spark of originality or, or in individualism. Um, so, uh, I'm not saying that I do, mm. but, uh, well, I am really. <laughs> Why do you think this is? Because this is a culture that r represses those, uh, oppresses. No, I just think because most people are pretty boring anyway. They what? really are. Essentially, you think yes, they're essential Yes, I course? do. I think most people are, are pretty drab. Oh, Morrissey, don't you think there's a no. beauty of people's no. Oh, Morrissey, I you do. I think the, the human race is very, very, very overrated. Really? Yes. So if it were spectacular, wonderful beings, part divine, part animal? Many of them are no longer with us. And uh, those who are with us I've not met. Morrissey, what things are you gonna? Those people that, are, <laughs> oi, I'm one of them people. I uh, see, see, see. You know how the head begins to swell. Oh, do you think I'm just a, one compliment oh, and no. then it's <laughs> it's affected me. Your hair will be even larger next week. <laughs> Where is there left for me to go in terms of me barnet? There's no mountains left to climb. However, I don't like Jamie Oliver. Why is this? Because every day of his life he kills things. Kill, kill, oh. kill, kill, kill. So I don't like Jamie Oliver. On the basis of his yes. uh, carnivorous nature. I think, he's, I think he's very, very nasty. You're still very militant about your vegetarianism then? Well, I'm not vegetarian. What are you now, vegan? What? No, I'm neither of those things. Oh. I just don't eat animals. Yeah. I don't eat anything that's lived. Yeah. I don't bring uh, I don't bring a life to, to end simply because I'm slightly peckish. <laughs> so, um, but uh, I, I'm not vegetarian in the sense that elaborate vegetarian dishes that I don't really care for. I mm. mean, I'm still very much 
Chocolate and crisps. Chocolate and crisps? You're just going through like gasoline, like, gasoline, chocolate and crisps? Well, I don't guzzle. <laughs> All right, uh, then. Uh, I mean, I'm James not. Uh, popping uh, them uh, in your gob. I'm not from Romford, you know. <laughs> I'm from near there. Graves, I'm from. That's why I said that. <laughs> oh, I he, he's catching on, Jennifer. I just, <laughs> 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 it's nice that you've got through the last seven minutes having to consult Jennifer <laughs> to unwire your own brain. Well, we're a double act. Which is lovely. <laughs> seems to me she is carrying the cerebral burden <laughs> in this double act. Morrissey. Yes. Sir. 